Welcome to Crypto OGs. Guys, welcome to Crypto OGs. We have a special guest today, the Chief Technology Officer of Aptos, Eric Chin. How are you today? Great to be here. Yeah, I'm feeling terrific. And I just saw you on stage, by the way, um, an amazing panel that you have. I'm very passionate about what Aptos is building, mm -hmm. the whole Aptos community. I met Mo, I met Thomas, everybody in the team. But I want to ask you in a deep level, in a technical level, because Aptos is developing an infrastructure to help institutional and retail as well to come into Web3. And I was talking to Tomal before, I think so Aptos is what was Facebook in 2006 for social media, Aptos is for Web3 right now in 2024. That's but, a great analogy. But let's talk about your experience, where you come from, and how you ended up being the CTO of one of the best layer ones in the planet. Yeah, so I have to go into that detail. I, I was at Meta for 10 years prior to Aptos. Oh, wow. And during that time, I worked on infrastructure that scaled to support all the products that power, like, um, infrastructure for billions of people at Meta. During that time, I, um, I, I came across the Libra DM project. I was one of the early engineers on that project, uh, where our goal was to build out a truly novel remittance platform, payments platform, to support billions of people around the world, 24-7. Wow. And for that, we built out this new technology called the DM blockchain, the move language. It was, um, it was something that was designed to kind of address the shortcomings of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah. Where if you want to have infrastructure that supports billions of people, you have to be very scalable. The fees have to be extremely low. Latency's got to be you know, sub-second, able to support any website uh, that you want to load it into. And so for that, uh, it's been a really exciting journey to redesign an architecture from the ground up. Uh, all the way from how we think about consensus to storage to parallel execution uh, to the language and the programming environment. And with this, we believe it can fundamentally change the way people use the internet. Yes. So it can be more about how do you take these applications and make them more composable, which you can't do in today's world. How users can have much more control around their funds and their resources uh, and be able to kind of interact with each other in trustless ways. And with this, internet, with this change, we can move society forward in a way that hasn't been seen before. And you guys are a very young company, but you are making a big impact already in the ecosystem. And we're here in Crypto Content Creator Campus. Yeah. And everybody starts to understand what is up to more, right? But from the te technical point of view, how you can address more people to onboard the ecosystem, like we did in, back on Facebook, you know, people were onboarding because it was easy to do. How are we going to do that as an engineers? technical officer, how you onboard more people in an easy way. Yeah, so we think about the challenges for onboarding today. If you have to remember a uh, mnemonic or you have to kind of uh, manage a wallet, it's actually quite difficult for most people. Yes. Right? It's much easier to log in with your Google account or to log in uh, with your, your Facebook ID in a different places. And so we've enabled a technology called uh, Aptos Connect and Aptos Keyless, which allows you to do that today. And so that's kind of a big blocker for easy onboarding. Uh, into the blockchain space. There's other features around kind of gasless transactions that are important. And I think when it comes to scale, like Facebook is one of the largest scaled applications in the internet today. Billions of users on a daily basis. You need to build out technology that can scale to that level. And we are the only ones kind of done it. We've demonstrated that with some amazing uh, uh, kind of records that have been broken this year. Aptos had an application called Tapos Cat that ran 326 million transactions wow. in a single day. Tapos. 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 No Tapos. downtime, no increase in fees demonstrates to you and to everyone around the world that you can actually build serious, high-scale applications for anyone and have infrastructure that scales without falling over or running into the issues that you've seen with meme coins and other workloads in the past. Eric, and very last question. How do you keep priorities as a CTO? What is important, especially in a fast pace like crypto, right? Like every day, even as a user, we have to keep learning. We have to keep adapting. Now, I'm a computer engineer myself. How do you keep scaling and adapting to the, the whole situation of the market and all of that, but more than that, building with the developers? How do you keep adapting to everything that happens so fast in crypto? That's a, that's a great question. So one of the early design principles around Aptos was to make sure the software was upgradable. And so we have an AIP process, which is similar to Ethereum's EIP process. There have already been more than 100 AIPs They've been launched within the last two years. Wow. And so with this easy upgradability and the modular software design that we have, it's actually quite simple for us to make the changes that are necessary for developers. So as they give us feedback, 
the move language, for example, that we want uh, higher order functions, we want to have uh, dot notation syntax. That's something we can add in a month or two or a couple of months uh, in response to their needs and their use cases. And so it's, it's really a pleasure to work with such an amazing developer team that can respond to the needs of builders around the world in a very quick fashion. And something that I like about you, you are a cool CTO. I love your t-shirt. Tell us about your t-shirt. Oh, uh, I'm, I was born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii. And so for me, this is kind of a traditional wear, something that we like to wear around the islands. And uh, I do it every Friday, typically. So you're not only building one of the best infrastructure for crypto, you're also keeping people with good energy <laughs> around with the Hawaiian trying style. Trying to, trying to, yes. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for coming to CryptoGIS. Thank you and so thank much. And thank you to the Aptos team for having me here. Take care. Bye-bye.